Hello everybody. You can't see me waving because this is a screen recording, but I am waving at you. So today we are going to be testing out a new proxy service, I guess you would call it. Basically, I have been seeing this website popping up on like TikTok a lot and I wanted to check it out because it seems... I don't know. It seems too good to be true. And so I just want to test it out. This is not me being sponsored. I am not sponsored by this company. I just want to test it out for myself and see if it is as good as it sounds. So the website we are going to be checking out today is called Poka Market. As it says right here, it says Poka Market, the marketplace for K-pop photo cards. So unfortunately, their interface seems to only be good on the phones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my iPad screen um, so that it's a little bit more vertical, um, but I'll try and keep it at least a little bit of a bigger screen for you guys to watch so it's not like on my phone screen recording. So we'll go ahead and go down and check out the about section and the how it works section so that I can figure out how it works. It does say no frauds, no translation required. I assume that they're buying photo cards from like Naver or Bunjang or something and just reselling them. But again, I'm not sure how they're getting to have photo cards be so cheap, especially like some of the ones that are 50 cents, like things like that. So four steps to meet your bias. You find the card that you're looking for. You would then purchase it. You ship it to yourself and then you receive it. So it seems simple enough and it shows that you have your collection here. Once you purchase something, it'll go in your collection. And then eventually you can request to ship all of them all, to all together, all at once. They have a section that says, where are the real photo cards? All the photo cards are safely stored in our safe. We open the safe and ship the real photo cards only if there is a shipping request for the actual photo card. Authentication. Official photo cards that were officially released under the agreement with the entertainment company. Any scratch press is less than 10 millimeters. There are artists in Poka Market. They do have like a limited amount. I tried to search Promise earlier and they had nothing so mostly it seems like it's all of the like more popular groups i want to say not popular but you know a lot of the big name groups so we are going to be focusing on 17 because obviously so if you click 17 it'll take you just to the regular 17 sections and from there i assume that we can yes so we can go ahead and look up different names of the members to like search a little bit easier. So I'm going to be searching up Jun, Jongan, and Wanu because those are the three members that I personally collect. We shall try and find cards. So a lot of them seem to be the carrot version ones and I already have a lot of those. A lot of them seem to be group cards. Okay, this this is kind of insane. This is a $19 photo card for an album card. I already have that card luckily, so I'm not looking for it, but like, I don't understand their pricing really. But then here we see Social Club for $5 compared to an album card for 19. It's very strange the way that they price these. This is not the Ray version that I'm looking for. Perhaps if I search Ray, then it'll make it a little bit easier to find them. So I'm looking for the hand, the cheek heart, and then the other one. Oh, and of course, they don't have it. And also, what are these prices? $30? I am very confused by their pricing system. So this is indeed the card that I am looking for and it is for one dollar. I think I will go ahead and purchase that. I actually don't know how to add money to my account so maybe we should figure that out first. So we can charge money to my wallet 
So I think for now, I'm just going to go ahead and add $10. So see, there is a charging fee to add money to your account. That there is that fee as well as like purchasing fees. So just keep that in mind when you are purchasing. Okay, so now we have $10 in my account that I can use to purchase photo cards. So like I said, I am looking for this card. So now let's see if we can purchase it. Oh, there are shipping. So shipping info, purchase photo cards will be added in collection. You can request up to 20 photo cards per request. So you can't request more than 20 photo cards. So let's go ahead and start with this card right here. So I have $10 in my account. It's going to be $2 for the photo card. Balance remaining is $8. Cancellation is not available. Let's go to my collection and it pops up right here, meaning I have purchased it. So we have one photo card complete. So here it is. This is the card that I am looking for. It is verified authentic, so I'm interested to see that. We'll go ahead and purchase it. And this one is again, $1 and $1 for the transaction fee. So it's $2 for the card. So we'll go ahead and purchase it. Let's see what we can find. So already I see one that I am missing, but this one is $3 for the card. So I wanna see if I can find them for cheaper. This one, however, is $5, which I do think that they may member price. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, do you see that? Um, so these cards are definitely member priced. $6 for a carrot version card. And I collect some of the most expensive members of 17. So unfortunately, I will be looking at these member pricing. <laughs> I want to see if I can at least find some good cheap cards for him, but it honestly does not look like it. So rest in peace to me. I mean, there are some like good cheaper pops, like this is a Yes24 for only $6.50. So I think that that is a good price for a pop. But in terms of the album cards, it seems like they are very much expensive on here for him. I do actually need this card, and for $3, I might just go ahead and buy it. I think I'm going to go ahead and save it for now, and then look up for Wanu. And yeah, the member pricing, again, absolutely kind of insane. <laughs> Uh, cause I am missing this card and this card and they're both very expensive. So this one is good. Um, I am missing this card. So perhaps, perhaps we'll go ahead and buy that. I'll go ahead and save that for now. I think I will go ahead and purchase this Wanu because I am missing it. So it is $2. So I assume the transaction fee is still $1. Here we go. So I will go ahead and purchase it. However, I do in fact need this card. So for $150, I will go ahead and purchase it. So out of my $3, $250, I will go ahead and purchase. I think that that is a good amount of cards that I purchased today with my $10. So I'll come back to you guys later on, see if I have purchased any more. And then once I start shipping, then I will go ahead and show you guys the process of that. So I noticed something as I was going through and trying to purchase some things, but it seems like sometimes the transaction fee is a different amount for an unknown reason. I'm not sure, every other photo card that I have purchased, the transaction fee was only a dollar, but for some reason this card and this card, the transaction fee is a dollar twenty. So I don't know why exactly they are upcharging the transaction fee, 
and the amount that they charge is just a random amount so you're left with like a weird amount of cents left that you can't really use hello everyone so i have come back to you maybe like a week after starting this video and i have just finished my first set of 20 photo cards with this website poker market in every package you can only ship 20 photo cards max so I have been looking every day for new photo cards to add to my collection. So there are some cards that I did have on my wish list, which I am very thankful that I was able to find. And then a couple that are either duplicates or just random cards that I wanted to see how their authenticity is. So now we can go ahead and click this request shipping button in the bottom right hand corner. So it looks like it takes you to basically the same page and it says select at the top so I'm guessing yes so you just go through click the ones you would like to ship to you which I'm just gonna go ahead and click all of them because I have 20 cards here select 20 shipping okay and then it gives you a list of the cards and then at the very bottom so it does already give you the uh, estimated shipping cost. So the shipping cost is $26, which I believe is a flat rate for 20 photo cards. I assume it's different depending on where you live. And then there is something called a processing fee, which is $9.90. So it says includes packaging and storage service. Includes duties, VAT. Obviously, if you have customs, there will probably be something like customs. Oh, it looks like you do have to charge your wallet to be able to ship. So that is something that I really dislike. So let me go ahead and fill out this information. So I will note, um, I am on their checkout page, going to input my information. I will just let you know that if you do choose, you can ship it to a Korean address. So that does change a lot for me personally because I do have a Korean address. I'm not going to ship it to my Korean address for the first package so that I can get an accurate review of their service shipping directly to me. But if you do have a Korean address, you can ship it to that Korean address and it'll save you about $30 or at least like $20 shipping it to your Korean address rather than shipping it to your American address. Hello everyone, I am back and I have with me my Poke Market package. So my Poke Market package just arrived today, so I am here to unbox it with you guys and let you know my review of Poke Market as a full. Comes in a box and then within that box it comes in a bubble mailer or at least it has bubble wrap so it's a very small package like this is the size of my hand very small all right and then it does come in kind of like i don't know what i would describe this as like a pencil case like it's very small i'm gonna have to lower the camera this is what it comes in so it comes in like a little i don't know how to describe it just like a little pencil case kind of plastic container thing here is the haul i do have like a list of things that i would like to talk about so first of all they do give you a business card so it says thank you with all of their little characters on it thank you for your purchase in poke market collect photo cards easily with poke market if you are satisfied use this feedback so that is their business card like they they did good on branding Okay, so, um, we'll just, I'll show you guys the cards that I got, and as I go through, I will tell you guys things that I like, I dislike, and my hopes for the future. I got some Wanu cards. I do like, they are all individually sleeved, so I will say that I do like. So, <laughs> we're gonna start with the things that I dislike about Poker Market. Or things that I just wish that they, like, things that I personally have issues with. Okay, so first of all, there's that Wanu. 
Number one, member pricing. They tend to member price, and I noticed this a lot as, you know, I do collect three of the most expensive members of Seventeen. The member pricing, not only on version specific cards, like these types of cards were so expensive for some members and some members were super cheap. Um, Wanu tended to be the most expensive member and that I was looking for. So I hate that. I mean, it might not be their fault because where they're getting their cards, maybe they are member pricing themselves. But the member pricing is so bad. I know, like, on my video, I was literally, like, while I was shopping, some of the Ray version cards for June were, like, $30 or something like that. Insane. Like, it's an album card. It should not cost that much. And following along with the pricing, I just... Genuinely, I'm confused by how they price their cards because, like, I got a Kino card in this set. I got a Kino card of June for $4.00. Um, and other album cards were 30 and then I saw the same Kino, the same version Kino for Jong-An was like $17, so again, just confused, but, so I believe I completed Sector 17 for Wanu with this haul, which I am excited for. I will say there is no option available outright to get like a refund from the money that you add to your wallet. And that's one thing that I don't like. Neokio, um, just to compare, they do have an option that you can refund whatever m money is in your wallet that you have not used. So I just, I would like to see that be added to this website in the future. That it's like, I have some money in my account that like I ha I can't do anything with like you can't get a refund so it's just sitting there collecting dust I did not realize how many Wano cards that I bought Slay though the transaction fee just confused me as well as like the pricing because it's like I think that they have like a certain set fee percentage or something but I just wish that they would be a little bit more transparent about what that is because like some cards I would buy the transaction fee to purchase was like a dollar whereas some cards were like a dollar fifty a dollar twenty like what is the percentage from the cards going towards I'm very I would just like to know a little bit more on how they calculate their transaction fee, I guess I would say. Oh my goodness, this card's so cute. Um, yeah, so it's just in, the transaction fee makes it difficult to spend all of the money in your account. And it's so difficult to like guess what amount I can spend. And then also finally, like prices tend to change throughout the days when i was purchasing these cards i was looking regularly on the website to see if prices would change because i noticed that they do prices tend to change throughout the day so i would save tabs of cards that i wanted and look at them throughout the day and sometimes the price would go up and sometimes the price would go down so i just you on you honestly have to just continuously check um to see what prices the cards are going to be because they're always going to be different okay so that's kind of like the last thing um i will say about disliking is uh also the increments this is kind of going on with into my hopes of um poker market i will say like the increments of money that you can add to your wallet you can only add money to your wallet you can't just go directly from paypal and pay for the card but also the increments that you can add to your wallet um are very specific i wish that they had like a custom option of money that you could add because they go from like five to ten and then all the way to thirty dollars and sometimes you don't want to spend thirty dollars on this website sometimes you know, $20 is a good middle range. I would say even just adding a $20 option, I think would help their service, in my opinion. And this is the last card. Because it's like, you know, sometimes you want to spend $20 
you know, and you don't want to add $10 twice and get hit with the transaction fee twice. That's what I wish. I wish you could add a certain amount or a custom amount onto your wallet. I'm, I'm done with my grievances about Pokemarket. Um, I think that those are all of my main issues with the website. I will say, I do believe that all of these cards are official. And that was one thing that I was interested in and why I made this video in the first place is because I was not sure how they got all of these official cards, especially for some of them where they were like 50 cents, like a lot of my June cards were a dollar, you know, 50 cents, how they got them to be so cheap. Um, but looking at them, I don't see any visible like problems with the cards, like how you would know that a card is fake. Usually there are signs that you can look for, whereas it's like discoloration or like the pixels in the card look a little weird. You know, it looks grainy. I don't see that on any of these cards. I will say I believe that there is a card that I purchased that I already have. I think it's this one. Um, and I did purchase that so that I could compare. So let me see if I can get that card out and then we'll compare it. So I did get this card as a trade from someone. So this is an official photo card from Control. I did purchase this just to compare them as this card was pretty cheap on Pokemarket. So I'll take it out of the sleeve and we'll just compare the card. Remember, this is the official card and this is the Pokemarket card. Not saying it's not official, I'm just saying it's from Pokemarket. So, comparing, I mean, if I am being real, I think that there is a little bit of a difference in the coloration on his face. That's just me looking at it in person, but also it might just be a different press of the card. I don't see any zooming, so that is one thing I will say. I do see the smallest specs, which are another good sign that a card is official. There's like a little speck. You can't really see it, but I can feel it personally. Just like holding the card, there are these little specs that mean that it was mass produced, which usually album cards are. So that is a good sign. This one's a little difficult as it is just a black back. It would be a lot easier to tell if it was like a colored back, kind of like, like this. Just looking at it off the back, I don't see any issue with it. And honestly, it feels the same. It feels the exact same. It's not thick in any way where like an unofficial card may be thick or thinner. They feel exactly the same. You know, I don't want to get in trouble for like advertising this to everyone and saying, oh, these are 100% official cards. Um, but in my personal opinion, I would say I am confident that the cards that I purchased from Pokemarket are official. Things that I do like, I'll just talk about that real quick. I do like their user interface. I do like the way that there's like different tabs at the very bottom that you can go to. In general, your information, your shipping list. I like how their interface is. And I also like, um, I like that you can search up individual groups and individual members. I will say it's pretty easy to purchase cards on their website, um, but one thing that I do wish is that they had maybe like a cart option um, to add to the website where like so that you can view the cards in your cart and maybe purchase them bulk rather than one at a time. That's just one little thing that I would personally like to see. I think that I have discussed everything that I wanted to discuss with you guys about Pokemarket. Again, this video is not sponsored in any way by Pokemarket. I just wanted to check out the service for myself and let you guys know what I thought about it for if any of you guys wanted to use it in the future. Oh, another thing, I will say their shipping cost personally was not an issue for me. The shipping cost to ship was $26 and there was a transaction fee of about $10 on top of that just to inspect the cards, to package and everything like that. And obviously the company needs to make money so that is the transaction fee. So in total it came out to be about $36 for shipping and it did arrive in just about like maybe three or four days which personally I'm fine with and it shipped via FedEx so if anyone has any issues with FedEx definitely consider this 
but personally for me the shipping cost was not an issue but i know for some people that may seem like a huge amount for shipping 20 photo cards but you have to consider that this is coming directly from korea so it's not like shipping from one u.s address to another where it's like a dollar or two that's why the shipping cost is so high overall i would say would i use poker market again perhaps if I had cards that I was specifically looking for, or if I was bored in general, like if I just wanted to use their service, I would use them again. I don't have any issue with them. Would I recommend you guys using them? If you want to, obviously that's a risk that you're willing to take, then I say take it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this helps you decide whether you want to use Poke Market in the future or not for your collections. Um, and I hope that all of my things that I dislike, things that I like, and things that I wish that they would change, hope that those help you decide. Thank you so much for watching my review of Poke Market, and I will see you guys in my next video, so goodbye! Sorry for it being chatty, bye!